Earth moving and other construction equipment like this is known as heavy machinery. Japan is the world's second largest manufacturer of these machines. They can be extremely large. The cab of this power shovel is an incredible 8.3 meters off the ground. The bucket can pick up 40 tons at a time. At the other end of the scale, this tiny version can operate in the narrowest of sites. Since they are used in hazardous conditions, operator safety is a priority for designers. This is the world's first fully remotely operated heavy machinery system. It's making dangerous mining sites safer all over the world. In recent years, Japan has suffered numerous natural disasters. Heavy machinery plays a vital role in removing rubble and earth, clearing the way for reconstruction to begin. These machines could be seen everywhere, clearing up after the Great East Japan earthquake of 2011. Rescue workers need heavy machinery on the spot as quickly as possible to prevent further loss of life and property. On the day after the disaster, we had already started to transfer construction machinery from the other side of Japan to the disaster-struck areas. A new approach is to train local residents to operate these machines in the aftermath of a disaster in their community. Training is organized by a volunteer group called Open Japan. They hold regular hands-on workshops. If the worst happens, communities are now better prepared to help get things back to normal. There are a few trained volunteers like our group, so we decided that the most effective way would be to teach people from each community to do this vital work themselves. Many decide to train after they've experienced a disaster personally. That was the case for Saito Yuriko. In 2019, her community was devastated by heavy rains and mudslides. Heavy machinery was available at the time, but we didn't have anyone who could operate it. Then, Open Japan volunteers came and used it to quickly clear away all the mud and debris. That's what inspired me to learn how to do it myself. Saito determined to be ready to help in any future disaster. Together with other housewives from her hometown, she decided to learn to operate heavy machinery. They also formed their own all-women volunteer group to aid nearby areas after disaster. The town of Matsushima lies on the Tohoku coast. In July 2022, this area was flooded by record-breaking rainstorms. The mudslide came right to the door of some homes. Saito came to help with the cleanup. Using her new skills, she cleared away many tons of mud. More than just removing all this mud, it really felt like we were removing a weight from people's hearts. We want to do more of this work and learn how to help disaster victims better. The mudslide that threatened this man's home is now completely gone. Thanks to their efforts, my despair quickly changed to hope. More and more local groups are learning to operate heavy machinery in emergencies.